Dustin Poirier says that he is training for Tony Ferguson even though he does not have the fight. Said he packed all his stuff, went out to the ATT, was getting the work, getting the reps in, says that the fight isn't signed. And he said, there's really wrong, no wrong scenario here. The fight doesn't get made. I'll pack my stuff up and go back to Louisiana. Until then, Dana White's got my number. We'll see what happens. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I read the whole thing. But what does he mean? Does he mean, okay, is that a thinly veiled attempt to financially negotiate in public? Is that what he meant by number? Or does he mean Dana White? No, hey, Dustin, it's Dana. I need you to find. What, what did he mean by number? Did he mean Dana knows how to get a hold of me? Dana can call me. My answer will be yes. As a matter of fact, I'm here to let you know I'm already training for it because I heard the rumor the same as you did. Or does he mean we're in a negotiation and we got to come to time? Is that what he did? I don't know the answer. And see, you, you got to understand it. You guys know old Chael. One of them's going to make me really happy, which is the second one, which is the 10 little digits you type in and push send, and I answer them. That's going to make me really happy with Poirier. That's going to give me a glimmer of pride. That's going to make me glad that I'm a Dustin supporter and fan. I'm going to think that's a gangster cool move that he went into training camp based on a rumor that he heard on the internet that he had a level of faith to get behind because he knows in full well that fight does make sense. Tony's been saying my name and I've been saying his name and Khabib said whoever wins, whoever whoever gets through me gets Khabib, which means if I get through myself, then I get Khabib. I, you know how much I'm going to love that whole thing. Or is this the thing I hate? Is it a thinly veiled attempt to dangle everything for this? Whether I like it or don't like it, it doesn't make me right or wrong. And it damn sure doesn't make Dustin Poirier right or wrong. N none of it is wrong. But what I'm really going to like it, what I'm not going to like as much, and I think that when you look at that on the heels of what Brock Lesnar is attempting to do, okay, when Brock Lesnar looks at the world of MMA and its fans as nothing more than a ballast, nothing more as a piece of leverage that you can balance between a really good contract for yourself and a really, really good contract for yourself. It's all fair game. No one's doing anything wrong. You got a game, you get to play it one time. You play it however it is you want to play it. You don't need to listen to me, but at the same time, it's fair game for me. I'm a fan. I like the competitors first. Dustin Poirier is nothing short of, of a competitor. That's exactly what the, he's wanting to go in there and type fight Tony Ferguson after all the killers that he's already fought, but he wants to fight Tony Ferguson, not because he's got a problem with Ferguson, but because he wants to get back to Khabib, who's 28 and 0, and who said, yeah, man, there's a way back to me. I respect what you did. Go do something else. Get it right, drawn to me. Oh, somebody else, if you can beat, if you can beat this henchman known as Dustin Poirier, I'll give you an opportunity too, just out of respect. I like the whole thing. Nobody's done anything wrong. But what does he mean by number? What does he mean Dana knows my number? What does he mean? I don't know the answer to it. You know what? Call Dustin Poirier. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Dustin Poirier? Calling now. Let's find out the answer to this question. Please leave your message for... Okay, which, which, which oddly brings me to a different point I was meaning to talk to you guys about. If you're ever recording something live and you're going to attempt to look like a cool guy who has someone's number and can get a hold of them, be careful when you do that because if that person doesn't answer after you strung the audience along, 
Not only will you not look like a cool guy, you're gonna look like a little bit of a doofus.